Hi y'all, I wanted to create a video that really is specific to those who have just gotten their makeup and are new to Saint and are needing some direction on how exactly to do it. So after you've gotten it in the mail and you've opened your cute little tins and you've put them in the order that you prefer, I want you to make sure you have a clean face. Skincare matters. I want you to have a clean face as well as moisturized. You want to have let it sunk in. I just want to get mostly for this video the placement, but I want you to love your makeup. So I just need you to remember that skin prep really matters, okay? I am gonna get started. I'm gonna speed it up a little bit and do a voiceover. Remember, if you ever have any questions, please reach out to me, okay? Okay, let's get started. You're gonna pick your shade that most matches your skin tone. Most of the time, this is your darker shade. You're gonna just stamp it on. You'll see that I'm gently dabbing my brush. Just dab it on your face. You will see so many different ways that this makeup can be applied. This is just the easiest way, I think, to start out with, personally. So just dab it on, kind of blending as I go. And the longer it's on your face, it kind of warms up to your face. I am using my lighter shade now under my eyes and a little bit in my outer corner, down my nose, chin, cupid's bow, and a little bit on my forehead. This is called your T-zone. I don't like to go too light under my eyes, so you can see I'm adding just a touch of that other darker color. You can mix, you can match, you can do whatever you want. This is my contour. I'm kind of squeezing my brush and finding my cheekbone and kind of hugging it right underneath. And as you can see, that one turned out a little thicker than the other one, and that's okay creating a rainbow type on my forehead and then just gently going along my jawline. I'm not being too precise. I hope you can tell that. I realized that I had forgotten to put a little bit of my highlight shade on my eyelids, so I'm just going back and doing that. All right, so now I'm gonna kind of blend in what I haven't blended in yet. So I'm going in first with my lighter shade and I'm still stippling. I like to use my finger under my eyes. This is personal preference. You will figure out which you like best. This is just what I like to do. And now with contour, when you're doing your forehead, go up into your hairline, always blend down your neck with your contour and then up on your cheekbone. You don't want to pull your face down, so always blend upwards. Next, if you've got the bronzer, this is where I like to go in with bronzer, and I just dab that on with that same brush and that same motion. I kind of help blend out my contour with it. That's just kind of what I've learned to do for myself. And you can even flip the brush over. I wanted to show that. You can flip the brush over and fluff it out that way too. The bronzer is sheer coverage, doesn't have coverage. Your contour does have coverage. And as you can see, I also like to go down my neck with my bronzer just to make sure everything is seamless. I did not contour my nose, so I just took a little bit of that bronzer and went down the sides of my nose. Next is your lip and cheek. This is my absolute favorite part. I'm just using that more dense end of my brush and I just stipple that on. I wanted to show that you can even take your finger, dot that, use the other end of the brush and blend that out. Just using the rest of that up. Such a pretty color. This is called pink, uh, pink grapefruit. Using that on my lips. And next I'm going into my cream illuminator. I like to put that on the high points of my cheeks. And you might not have this product, but if you do, high points of your cheek, kind of down my nose a little bit, Cupid's bow, chin, just kind of, it would look nice where the light hits you. I even put a little on my lips. At this point, I kind of evaluate the situation is what I like to call it. And I just use the colors as needed for a little added coverage. I like to use my fingers like this too, just cause I don't use too much. I also wanted to add a little more contour. So there's nothing wrong with going in at the end and adding a little more contour. 
But you can also clean up your contour like I did, just so, like I said earlier, your face doesn't get brought down. You can clean up any product that's gotten below that line. Your dampened beauty sponge is a must. Please use that to remove excess product. So if you are wanting to set your makeup at this point, this is where I like to call it to use your powder with a purpose. Only put it where you need it, especially for mature skin, so your skin doesn't look dry. If you'd rather use a setting spray, you can spray your sponge and just put that where you'd like. Alrighty, y'all, that was me putting my full face using the Saint Cream Foundation. Remember, if you have any questions, please message me. Let me know. I want to help you love your new makeup. Bye, y'all.